What's up guys? Um, today is April 8th, 2019 and um, long story short, um, I keep messing up. Um, I keep messing up on my diet. I don't know what it is, you know. Um, since the last video I made about my diet, I ate clean for a couple days. And then last night, I don't know, I just binged, you know? I don't know why. Um, I went out and got a bunch of junk food. Um, for some reason, you know, this time around, um, I'm just really having trouble focusing and staying disciplined and uh, sticking to my diet. And, um, you know, it's tough. I don't know why. Like in the past, it seemed like it was easier for me to be disciplined. And um, now it's just like I'm really having trouble. But that's all negative stuff. And I want to focus on positives. And God is good. There's always a reason to be positive. Uh, I'm blessed just to be alive. Um, I can walk and talk and run and do all these things and there's nothing keeping me from going to the gym and sticking on my diet and doing all this stuff except for the own limitations and the excuses that I have in my own head. So I wanted to get focused and I don't want it to just be like, oh, I'm going to, you know, get on a diet and see where it goes. I decided that for the next three months, I'm going to pour my heart and soul into this diet because I've been dieting on and off for a long time now for like three years I've been did the keto diet I did you know I like a, a high fruit low saturated fat you know kind of like you know uh, low meat diet you know I still had some meat but it was mostly like dairy almost almost like a vegetarian diet with a little bit of meat I've done you know high fat you know low fat I've done every diet I've tried every fat diet I've tried every thing and I finally got to something that was working for me a little bit ago and it was working for me and I got in like some of the best shape I've been in in my life not the best shape but close to it and um, it just got off track and I don't know why but um, I decided for the next three months I'm gonna just do everything I can do in my power because I don't have control 100% who knows maybe it doesn't work out but I'm gonna make sure that if it doesn't work out that I go down swinging and that I give it everything I got and if I do that even if I don't change and I look exactly the way I do today but if I do everything in my power to stay motivated and to give 100% then I'm gonna be happy with myself so um, to remind myself every single day I wrote on my calendar in my room uh, from April 8th, 2019 to July 8th, 2019, I'm going to be dieting. And uh, after I'm done with this, um, I'm going to give myself uh, the option if I want to reverse diet slowly and try to hold on to whatever I've done as long as I can, I'm gonna do that. If I wanna just go straight into a bulk and just get big and say, screw all that dieting stuff for a while, I wanna get huge, um, I might do that. But basically, after July 8th, I'm not trying to get leaner anymore. I'm just trying to maintain or um, bulk up, but I'm not trying to like lose body fat anymore. I'm just trying to maintain or I'm trying to bulk up. And that's because I feel like if I don't set a date, it's like I could go on a diet for two weeks and be like, oh, you know, um, maybe I'll just have a cheat day and then get back on my diet again. And, you know, eventually I'll get there. Eventually, you know, I'll, I'll do this. Eventually I'll do that. But it's like if I don't put a deadline, I feel like this could just go on forever. And I'm always going to let myself down right before I get to that uh, point when I get in shape where I'm satisfied. So many times I've gotten to the point where I was like almost kind of sort of happy with the way I looked. I need to push through that and get to the point where I'm just like 100% happy, 
100% satisfied, I reached my goal, um, and now I can move on to either bulking up or doing other things. And it's not just like this state of limbo where you never really truly feel like you put 100% into it. So that's why I put a date on it. Um, I want to apologize. Uh, the videos that I did up until this point, um, I had something going on with my computer and my camera, so some of them kind of got mixed together. I wanted each video to be a specific day, and some of the footage got lost, and then some of it got mixed together. So if you watched some of those prior videos, I apologize for the fact that they were a little hodgepodgey. But uh, for now on, I'm going to freaking put everything I got into this. And you know what? If I, if I fail, I fail. But I don't want to fail easy. I don't want to fail saying, oh, you know, I just give up. I want to fail and have it be a fight. So if that's the case, you know, I don't have control over everything, you know. Maybe it doesn't work out. Maybe it does. But I want to know that I, I gave it my best. So today I was on my diet. I didn't cheat. I uh, went to the gym. I worked out. I It's like 11 o'clock at night right now. I got all, most of my meals in. I got a couple left to get in for the day. I'm going to go to the gym and swim for cardio. And another thing I, I want to say is um, I'm going to Coachella this weekend. It's, uh, it's, um, it's Monday. I'm going, or I think it's Monday, yeah. I'm going to Coachella this weekend, and um, I'm going to try to bring all my food with me and stay on my diet 100%. Because I don't want to say to myself, oh, um, since I'm on a diet, I can't do anything fun. Oh, since I'm, you know, I, I don't want to put myself in a box and think, oh, since I'm putting 100% of myself into one thing, that's going to hold me back from other things in my life. And I just have to stay at home. And I, I want to do 100% in everything that I do as much as I can do. So I want to go to Coachella. I want to get out of the house. I want to have fun. I want to meet new people. I want to go places, do things. And if that means that I have to get more discipline and freaking learn how to bring Tupperware places and eat my meals cold because I don't have a microwave, whatever the heck I have to do, I want to do it because I don't want to limit myself and say, oh, I just want to do one thing in life or I don't want to, you know, or make excuses and say, oh, ah, you know, I wish I could go to Coachella, but I can't because uh, I have to be on my diet and I have to do cardio. No, like, you can make things work. Like, if someone told you they give you a million dollars to take your meals to Coachella and to eat clean when you're there, um, you would be able to do it, or, you know, most likely you'd be able to do it. But a lot of times in my life, things like that are an excuse, where it's like, oh, I can't do this because I want to do that, or I can only do one of these two things. I can't do both of them. But I want to say to myself, you know what, so what, I'm going to make it work. So I think it will be a good test of my discipline to go someplace where it's going to be difficult to get my meals in, difficult to stay in my diet, difficult to do these sort of things. And then if I can do those things under circumstances where it's difficult, it will be easy to do it in my everyday life. And like I said, you know, I don't want to have one thing hold me back from another. I want everything in my life to just be, um, you know, all, like doing the best at everything, you know, giving 100% at everything that I do. Not just, you know, oh, I'm going to be a bodybuilder. I want to be a bodybuilder someday, so I can't leave the house. Or, you know, um, you know, oh, I'm going to go to Coachella. <laughs> Maybe I'll get on my diet on Monday. You know what I mean? You know, or, you know, I want to, you know, do this, do that, whatever it may be in my life, in your life, don't let one thing hold you back. Don't say, oh, if I could only get my room clean, then I would clean your room and go to the gym. You know, do this and do that. Just do everything the best you can and don't let yourself, like your mind get in a box. But anyway, I'm kind of rambling on a little bit. This is gonna be the first day. I really don't wanna let myself down this time, but I'm gonna give it 100% of what I got, whatever that means. If that means I make it a week and I cheat, Fine, but I'm gonna go down swinging. I'm not just gonna let it be easy. I'm gonna try the very best I can. Um, so hopefully it works out, guys. This is where I'm at right now. Not too happy with uh, the way I look, but I'm not gonna look at myself for as long as I can. Uh, I'm gonna stay covered up as much as I can. I'm gonna keep a shirt on because I don't wanna get inside of my own head. I don't wanna think, am I making progress in it? Am I not? I just wanna freaking. I don't want to think about that. I just want to think about every day, meals, gym, cardio, meals, gym, cardio. 
and then you know maybe in a week or, or two I'll take my shirt off I'll see if I've made progress and then that will motivate me but if I look at myself every day in the mirror every 15 minutes are you getting you know leaner are you not is this worth it or is it not oh you've already been on diet for three days or four days and you haven't made any progress maybe you should just cheat you know all that stuff is not good so I'm not gonna look at myself in the mirror for as long as I can stay focused try to get cardio in every day go to the gym and Hopefully it all works out. So, all right, guys, this is uh, the first day officially trying to get back on my diet. So, check it out.